She calls her machine waltzing Matilda. When you hear her run, you'll see that she kind of makes a noise. It's kind of like dancing. And thanks to Matilda, Kathy Michaud has been able to do something that she has loved for many years. I've quilted for about uh, half my life, 25 years. And I started taking up machine quilting uh, near the end of 2008. But difficulties have been faced along the way. After losing her husband, Kathy had almost given up on her love for quilting. But with the help of a women, work, and the community workshop, she got back on her feet and was both encouraged and given support in her time of need. I tried to go back to work and I just couldn't do it and I thought I didn't want to do anything. I didn't even want to quilt then and because of good friends and uh, some of the professionals that had helped, I decided to purchase a long arm quilting machine. That was it, I guess. <laughs> Kathy spends all hours of the day in her renovated quilting room. She makes everything from quilts to tote bags for her company, cats, quilts, etc. But Kathy isn't like a normal businesswoman. She is more of a giver. I like to be able to make something and give it to someone that really appreciates it and is probably not expecting it. And it's just nice to see the happiness on their face. And I like to give. Uh, my husband would tell you that I give too much, but... <laughs> In fact, one of her greatest accomplishments was her donation to Stepping Stones in Holton, a program that provides teenage mothers or soon-to-be mothers with helpful services. Kathy made pink, blue, and green quilts, wrapped them up as gifts, and brought them to the facility. What resulted was something that Kathy will remember for the rest of her life. I wanted those girls to know that someone, even if they didn't know them, some stranger, cared enough about them to give them something. One girl asked me, um, why did you do this? And that's what I told her. I said, I want to let you know that someone out there cares about you. It made pretty much everyone there cry. And not even Kathy herself would have guessed that a simple hobby would grow into a love of giving. Jenna Caleri, News Source 8.